<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to morning prayer. So we're a little late pressing the record button today so you've missed the psalm, sorry about that. Uh, but it was, if you want to read it, Psalm 57 and it's a lovely psalm of praise. Um, I was just thinking how wonderful is that verse 11? For your loving kindness is as high as the heavens and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. There is a worship song that I won't try to sing that has that verse in it. <laughs> but it's a nice one. Uh, and um, yeah. Well, maybe John can get the harp and the lyre. Uh, tuned up on his um, whatever it is. Oh, my kit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking as we were reading it how fortunate we are not to live in a time when you have enemies who are seeking to kill you day by day. Yeah? <laughs> as it clearly was for this, this psalmist, yeah? Yes, but there are oh, some yeah. sharp, sharp tongues around. There are some apart sharp tongues around, yes. Apart from some of my clients. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pray for deliverance from them. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, let's scroll down then. We're reading Deuteronomy, which is a kind of repetition of the law by Moses before he leaves the Israelites to their own devices. Um, so, Bisola, would you like to read that for us? Things you saw no from when the Lord spoke to you at Oreb, out of the fire. Take care and watch yourself close it so that you do not act corruptly by making an idol for yourself in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And when you look up to the heavens and see the sun, the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, do not be led astray and bow down to them and serve them and serve them. Things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the peoples everywhere on the heaven. But the Lord has taken you and brought you out of the iron smelter, out of Egypt, to become a people of his very own possession, as you are now. The Lord was angry with me because of you, and he vowed that I should not cross the Jordan, and that I should not enter the good land that the Lord your God is giving for your possession. For I am going to die in this land without crossing over the, over the Jordan, but you are going to cross over to take possession of that good land. So be careful not to forget the covenant that the Lord your God made with you. And not to make yourself, and not to make for yourself yourselves an idol in form of anything that the Lord your God has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a devouring fire, a jealous God. When you have when you when you have had children and children's children and become complacent in the land. If you act corruptly by making an idol in form of anything, thus doing what is even in the eye, sight of the Lord your God, and provoking him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that you will soon utterly perish from the land that you are crossing the Jordan to occupy. You will not live long on it, but will be utterly destroyed. The Lord will scatter you among the peoples, only a few of you will be left among the nations where the Lord will lead you. There you will serve other gods made by human hands, objects of wood and stone that neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. For there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and soul. In your distress, when all these things have happened to you in time to come, you will return to the Lord your God and heed him. Because the Lord your God is, is a merciful God, he will neither abandon you nor destroy you. He will not forget the covenant with your ancestors that he swore to them. Great, thank you very much. Um, 
So it can, it's, it's interesting here in the law how you get like you're not allowed to make idols or images. You know, the, um, the word in Hebrew for idol is the same as the word for image. And I think this is because God creates humanity to be his image, to be the idol. And we are supposed to be the image or the idol of God. We are supposed to reflect who God is. Um, and so we're not supposed to create other images or idols because he has created the image um, of himself, which is in humanity. We are called to be that image. Yeah. Um, so it's quite an interesting piece. Anyway, yeah, Moses kind of clearly foresees that they are going to uh, go wrong and have some trouble, but he's saying, you will turn back to the Lord and be forgiven, yeah? So, any thoughts about this passage? It's well, an it's interesting a prophecy, really. He's prophesying what will happen to he them. He is. He's prophesying what will happen. You're right, Elizabeth. Yeah, absolutely. The it's a pretty stern warning. <laughs> utterly perish, utterly destroyed. Yes, that's what happens. Well, yeah. think of the think of the Holocaust. You know, in the twentieth century, they were practically destroyed. Yeah, and that's just then. Forget all the times before that. Mm. I think it ends because the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will neither abandon you nor destroy you. So stay on path, stay on target, no worshipping false idols, and the Lord God will be with you. I think that's that. It yeah. ends on it ends on a I there's Elizabeth saying, but it ends on a positive note. Yeah. Um, it's like don't stray from the path because you're going to get yourself into trouble, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you do, but you can get back onto it. All right, excellent. Okay, now we have another passage from John. And John, like you, John Graham, you've got um, competition today. I have. We <laughs> usually give the John passage to John, but we're going to give it to John Gill today. <laughs> Two Johns. <laughs> right. All right, John Gill. <laughs> yes, well, sorry, just we had yesterday. Of... I think John, you were with us yesterday, weren't you? Didn't you read the Come and I Have did. Breakfast passage? Jesus and disciples on the beach, they've been catching nothing. Jesus says, Oh, cast your nets on the side. They, they bring you a load of fish. Jesus says, Come and have breakfast. I, it's, it's such a lovely image of having breakfast on the beach. Jesus and his disciples. All right, so this Kathy carry... <laughs> often has breakfast with us. Who does? John's <laughs> wife. <laughs> oh, yes, Kathleen, indeed. Mm. She likes, <laughs> yes, she enjoys her breakfast. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so John Gill, if you okay. would read, continue this story. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, do you know that I love you? Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? He said to him, Lord, do you know everything? You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wish. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your, your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. Okay, thank you, John. So this is a rather sad note in the story where Jesus asks Peter three times if he loves him, you know, in contrast to three times that Peter denied knowing Jesus, yeah, before the crucifixion. And so this is a reaffirmation. Well, yeah. 
of um, Peter's faith and commitment to Christ. And uh, whereas before he was afraid to follow Jesus for the consequences of it because he was afraid that he might be crucified too. Now he is going to follow him and it will lead to his death. But maybe this time he's accepting of that. So after the jolly breakfast on the beach, there's this very sort of sad note, yeah? Hmm. But also a charge to um to to maintain who he is and to and to let others to be a leader, yeah. So others to follow. To be a shepherd, yeah. Yeah, to be a shepherd, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So yes, it is commissioning of Peter really as um as a shepherd, or as will come to be known like a bishop, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Any thoughts about this? I presume he goes, but he's goes blind or is maimed blind. <clears throat> well, why do you say that? Because someone else will fasten you and lead you where you do not wish to go. So I, I unless think, you're talking about he's chained. Yeah, I think it just means is. that he'll be, he be tied up and taken away. He'll yeah. be tied up and taken away to his execution, yeah? Yeah. And he is executed, well, we believe in, in Rome, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's scroll down then and read our responsory. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, oh, where oh, death is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death, death, death is swallowed, swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, where oh, death, oh, death is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed, swallowed up in victory. victory. Where, oh, death, death is your sting. So let's pray. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, uh, thank you for this beautiful morning. Uh, thank you for this time together, uh, for your word for uh, the wonderful story of Jesus' resurrection and the hope of eternal life that he brings. We lift to you those who are suffering, um, Gillian Figaro, Jenny's sister, and Jenny herself. Uh, Lord, we pray that Jenny will be released from this pain that she's experiencing. For Vivian and Christopher Golis, for Evelyn Hanna, Sean Hunt, Pete Jadhav, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Susan Rigby and Betty Seaman. Also for John Walton, Dia Sharma and Susan Chamberlain. Bring healing and hope and comfort in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I thank you, Lord, that you have created us as equals, all of us your children, each of us blessed and united in love for you, Lord, and in your love for us. Help us to see that no one in this world is an other. Unite us, Lord, and let us pray together in thanks for all you do. Amen. Amen. 
Lord, we thank you that we could call on your name. Thank you, Lord, that you hear and answer for us. Thank you, Lord, that you have commissioned us to, to follow you, Lord, and we want to do just that. Only, and we could only do that because of your grace, because you came and you gave <coughs> your life for us. So, Lord, I want to pledge that we will follow you, Lord, in, in everything that we do. We will represent you and we will glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a new day in which we could do just that. So, Lord, we thank you for your blessings and the grace that you have provided for us to live according to your will. These misses are asked with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 So, in using the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer, rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy, name. thy kingdom thy come, thy, thy, come, thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as in heaven. In heaven. Give us this give day, us day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. He does not deliver us from evil, but for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. Well, lovely to pray with you today. Uh, thank yeah. you very much. Have a lovely yeah. day. Maybe see you later. All right. Thank thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.